What's up guys, it's game update day and today let's go over what they have added. They have added some miscellaneous fixes here, so let's quickly go over them. We have the arms of Tongs Fang getting a complete rework. Check it out. Guys, it looks so much better now. Getting more I guess just length and girth here, I mean. Next we have Araxor, the spider boss being set to announce in seven days here super excited don't know exactly what the bot the drops are going to be here guys but surely this is going to be amazing here guys the arkanoid menace okay so let's quickly go over what this uh, boss is going to bring we had the amulet of rancor which is the going to be the strongest amulet for melee in the game with zero defense with bonuses guys this is going to be huge as it gives 25 attack and each and every single sla stab slash crush as well 12 melee strength so this is actually huge I think you attach it to like a amulet torture I'm not sure exactly guys so it will be made tradable once you uh, upgrade it and there is a discussion up here about just uh, you know the game in general being like upgrade scape so well what will soon be the best halberd in the game the noxious halberd which will actually cure you of any venom uh, with a special attack with a hundred boasting 142 strength bonus as well as a attack rate of five <clears throat> it also has a 33 percent chance to inflict vent your target with venom which is increased to 50 percent if you have the serpentine helmet this is huge you guys again th these will probably go for a huge price once released <clears throat> so while this is a very powerful weapon it's kind of just has a niche use as they, as they have added right here guys but hey, you can get some nice hits in like some Slayer scenarios. Or even just say, you know, if you want to like maybe potentially PK with it. But I think it may be similar to like a Venator bow. Maybe better with like the multi scenarios. So we have the Aranea boots. These are proposed to be like a good Tribid. Tribid uh, freaking boots like plus four melee strength as well as just offensive range and magic. So hey. No defensive bonuses, so take that as what you will. The boot slot is known to do stuff like this, so. Next up, we have the extended anti-venom. Coming in at a 94 herb lore requirement, guys. Thankfully, they're buffing this because, <coughs> uh, you know, I hope they make the length around the same as extended anti-fire. This would be huge. Again, I'm willing to pay like 20, 30k, even 40k per pot because this right here will just save so much for us so we have the summer summit coming september 7th 8 p.m bst 7 p.m et 12 p.m pt i don't know exactly what it is but hey i'll check out some highlights maybe we can do some reacts i vaguely remember what this is but this is super awesome regardless there will be a watch party for that uh info on screen as well guys but let's go over some other changes we have the key master and services later no longer showing a combat level uh, hey, that's useful. You don't want to right click something that doesn't have a comment level. Something that you can't attack, right, guys? Hey, it was there kind of for aesthetics. That's next. We have a uh, Dead Man Armageddon variant of the Mage Arena 2. Case working should be working with the respective God spells. Hey, that's useful. Special ca attacks ca can once be used in Last Man Standing and Free to Play. That's useful. I know there's uh, quite a few glitches. Uh, last update, I guess. They tweaked the sh shrine to the Temple of Randall to face away from the wall. Corrected the name of the cat mask. In quotation. Corrected a typo of the name in the offhand. And Munciato. As well as Iron Man can now pick up Keystone Crystals. As well as the offhand. And Munciato hammer correctly working with the Inferno Eels and Coconuts. So. Next we have the Rota. We have five different Rotas now. For... Uh, we have PvP in the USA and uh, UK LMS 559 again. Shout out the mods on screen, and I'll see you guys next one, guys.